September 11th, 2001. I remember where I was, and I'm guessing most of you who were old enough remember where you were. Uh, I was at home that morning, and the phone rang a lot earlier than normal. I don't normally have the TV on, and my friend said, quick, you got to turn the TV on. And uh, out here out west, I don't remember exactly how early it was, but the, the sun was up, but it was pretty early. And I uh, got to see some stuff that, uh, you know, you'd rather not ever see, right, one way or the other. And so it's a, it's a very moving, stirring time for everybody and a very uh, emotional, just emotional subject. And so um, I had already made a video for this, and then I'm, I'm kind of reshooting it a little bit differently this time. And that is uh, when uh, the dust had cleared, so to speak, uh, we had a situation where eventually you had these coins coming out from the World Trade Center. Now, there's, there's a story behind it that's a little different than I thought the story was originally. Uh, and it's interesting to see how things unfold, right? So one of the things that I try to do is, is to not ascribe, subscribe, ascribe. I try to not project too much of someone's, their motivation uh, out there necessarily because everyone, everyone has an idea about what someone else's business is, right? And so you actually saw a lot of older tokens from from the time of the colonies to the time of more than the Civil War, so the first 75 years, 90 years of this country where you had this saying, and it was mind your business. And mind your business meant two things, of course. One was to not mind other people's business, but also to take care of your life and your family and prioritize it. And so when these first came out, there was a big, big pushback. Uh, and a lot of people were quoted, uh, people were calling them death coins. Um, you know, some really well-respected numismatists from the time period who were guys who wrote books were saying things like it's morbid, disgusting, shocks the senses that any individual or corporation would capitalize on September 11th. Uh, here's another one. This is an extreme case of making money with the World Trade Center. Uh, you know, it's really interesting though, because the guy who ended up being really at the center of this is Lee Minshall, who uh, is a well-known and well-respected numismatist for a long time. And so the story is pretty interesting because he bought all the coins and from Nova Scotia Bank and the coins themselves were not in apparently either the towers that fell they were in world trade center tower four building four so they were not in one of the towers that actually fell but they were from of course the site because everything is kind of kind of right there so when the when they first came out the reverse of the coins actually didn't say uh PCGS, they actually said Collector's Universe. So the original ones said Collector's Universe on them. And then afterwards, the second round actually had the PCGS, the PCGS label on the back instead of just the Collector's Universe label. And uh, PCGS got some heat for this and everyone else got some, some grief for this. And then uh, at the end of the day, uh, a couple things happened. A decade later, Lee was named Numismatist of the Year. Apparently, he raised over $3 million through this program that went to different charities. So, you know, there's there's definitely a morbid aspect to it. And one of the things I want to talk about is the fact that, you know, most things that are made to be collectibles are not collectibles, right? So, so generally speaking, I am not a label guy when it comes to graded coins, right? So... Usually when something has a special label, I'm like, you know, this is a gimmick. It's not that historical. It's not that significant. And definitely today where you can you can get lots of different labels. But I do like these. I do think this is kind of a niche collector area. Something that, um, you know, for 40 or 50 bucks, you can get smaller coins like this that 
have a piece of history attached to it that you can really connect with, right? And you can actually explain to somebody a generation down the road kind of what this is and where it's from. And that I think is is different than the modern stuff that's made to be collectible. So at the end of the day, there were there were lots of different coins. There's a lot of little foreign coins. There were a lot of one ounce gold Krugerrands. There were a lot of different silver eagles. Of course, the silver eagles are super popular, um, especially if you have any that are actually dated 2001. Those are the most popular. Uh, you, there are also some earlier ones that are pretty um, interesting. If for the label collector, of course, there's the ones that actually say Collector's Universe instead of saying PCGS on them. And uh, all in all, all in all, it's it's really a an interesting story as far as the background, the perception at the time, the perception since, and how much that changes over time. And uh, in my other video, I had all the different stats and data points on how many of the different, because PCGS shows how many of the different labels were made. And uh, I'm not gonna get into that in this video. I just wanna talk about the concept of, uh, first of all, what happened with the World Trade Center. And secondly, uh, you know, things that aren't necessarily invented as collectibles that become collectibles. Uh, that's always something that I find interesting and so I always end up collecting lots of random things that are not necessarily directly related to the collectible market but something that's kind of tan tangential you know kind of off to the side a little bit so uh, if you guys collect these let me know if you have a favorite one or if there's anything that you're looking for uh, let me know because I think it's an interesting piece of American history that ties into the collecting market in a way that not many things do. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.